Hi. We have a project today with a text with a small table and a big one. And we want to study a property in order to uh, look, to make this table to look better. So uh, we go to text flow and we have these two options, allow table to split across pages and columns and allow row to break across pages and columns. So first we will study what does it mean, the first one, allow table to split across pages. After that we will come to columns. So I have this table here. Um, let's remove this space here. So uh, I have one row on one page or two rows on, on a page and the rest is over there and I don't want uh, something like that. I uncheck that. Okay, and now the table is on a full page, so I don't break the table with that check. I allow to break or I don't allow to break. For the big table, you can see I don't want to break, so we'll begin on a new page and after uh, the table it's ended. What is, uh, let's insert a new one here. If I don't allow to break, is not happening anything because it has space here. If it's moving and it doesn't have space, it will move on the next page. But if the table has space, nothing happens. It's just for these cases where the table needs to go on another page and I don't want that. How about columns? This is about pages organized in columns. So if all the page is in two columns, for example, like this. The same as um, the table move on another page, the table will move on another column in this case. Maybe on the same page, but in another column. So if I'm, if I'm checking here, allow table to split. Now I, I don't allow. Okay, so I don't allow to move on another page, but in this case is another column because it's uh, organized on columns and um, after that in pages. The same thing here. Let's uh, delete this table. And now let's see the other option we have the second row we wanted to see. Let's uh, press and enter here. Okay. You could, you could see that I have some more text here and there in all the tables, but on the last, last row I have some and the rest of the text is on, on another page or another column. So it's not very well looking to break the row. So I will uncheck that. Now I allow the row to break, it's not okay, so I uncheck that and the word sum, you can see the space here, it's gone, and moved on another page. So that way um, the row stays together. If I go to page, organizing a page uh, in one column, the same, I have some more text if I'm pressing uh, here I have some and more text here. If I don't want that, right click table properties. I don't allow row to break and it's done. So this is for cases where I have a small row, um, a part of the row and it's not good looking. So uh, checking that uh, will assure that all the text is, on, is together on the same page. So that way uh, LibreOffice assure you that everything will look much better in your project. Thanks for watching and please subscribe for more videos.